strange is the relationship of abundance to scarcity of gratitude to ungratefulness of appreciation to ignorance of hope to despair in the human nature some of us are ungrateful despite having the abundance and some of us are ever determined passionately hopeful even in the greatest scarcity it is that optimistic and action oriented lot of human beings that has made great things happen humble beginnings often become significant contributions mohammed ismail zahid malik alias zahid malik is one such man of character zahid malik had exemplary inception of his life journey he is a daring and bold journalist a researcher a documentarian a drama artist of radio and television a play writer and a poet born on the 22nd of september 1961 in a village called pais mohammad malik kulji station dadu zahid was the first son to his parents his respected father mir mohammad malik a dignified laborer had scarce means of living he used to work on the agricultural land of a great sindhi poet of recent era sai ustad bukhari ustad bukhari used to visit his lands in the village often and used to suggest to the father of the newborn that he should provide education to his son as he grows up the challenge for zahid's father however was that there was no school in the village and there was no regular as well as sufficient income to pay for the education when zahid reached the age of 5 his father enrolled him in a school in another village at a distance of few kilometers well then the journey to the school and back was not convenient at all and that too barefoot noteworthy is the fact that both the young and passionate student and his hard working father throughout all the turbulent years did not give up their determination for education fortunately the villagers of faiz mohammad malik got a school approved for their village and gave a piece of land for school building to the education department they all including the young zahid labored voluntarily to build the school themselves despite the poverty zahid subscribed for daily sindhi newspaper at an early age he was fond of reading learning about the current affairs provincial national and international When Zahid reached 13th year of his age his father fell seriously ill and could not earn a living Zahid as the eldest son took up the responsibility and started farming for the landlord of his village earning for the livelihood and medical treatment of his father he did not stop his own schooling and the schooling of his siblings After his 10th grade Zahid took admission in the government degree college Dadu later titled as Ustad Bukhari degree college Dadu after his 11th grade when his father had recovered fully from the long illness Zahid stopped farming at the same time he enrolled for medical dispenser course at the civil hospital Dadu he had observed since his childhood that there was no clinic or medical aid facility of any sort in his village folks had to travel far to seek even first aid and after sunset no one would dare go out for the fear of dacoits in those years in due course of time zahid malik completed his course and subsequently found employment as a dispenser that came in handy to serve the villagers and to support him to support his father as well as his own studies 
Embracing the challenges, enduringly, Zahid Malik did his graduation and then his master's in mass communication. Parallel to that, his zeal for spreading the education made him multifaceted, vigorously involved in activities to impart education. He and his friends started to produce stage dramas. That was merely his beginning in the world of media. Promoting Education He started to arrange free workshops for and about the importance of education, delivering lectures, encouraging people to educate themselves and their generations. Promoting Literature Organizing Mushaira Poetry Reading Zahid Malik along with Sain Ala Nawaz Rukrai founded Basme Talib al he later on, along with his seniors and friends, established Makhdum Bilawal publication to initiate research on the great martyr saint Makhdum Bilawal. Promoting Sports Zahid, realizing the lack of sports facility in the area, established a sports club for cricket titled Mehar Cricket Club, Pulji as cricket had become a popular sport that kept the youth active and away from negative and time-wasting activities such as sitting idle at restaurants and hanging out for nothing providing medical relief he started to organize and arrange free medical camps in the rural areas that lacked basic medical aid facility he volunteered for over 28 years his services through a registered non-profit private organization called Sindh Welfare and Cultural Organization as a general secretary and a vice president. Performing Arts in the field of performing arts Zahid organized many events such as variety shows music concerts and live theatre, presenting culture, heritage, tourism, sports and folk music of Sindh, Zahid Malik has written 5 documentaries and 20 serials for TV channels. He has written more than 30 dramas and stage plays. At radio in specific, Zahid performed as Category A writer and drama artist at Radio Pakistan Khairpur and Hyderabad for 20 years. Toward the completion of his Masters in Mass Communication, Zahid Malik did research on the history of Movement for Restoration of Democracy MRD, in Pakistan. He kept voicing the right, be it through his plays, poetry, lectures, articles, speeches, or interviews. In the year 1989, he formally started his career in journalism with the Sindhi Daily, Khadme Watan, and in 1990 at Daily Kavish. In the following years, for other prominent newspapers like Daily Ibrat, Alak, Tamir Sindh, and Bakhtwar. Working with the Kavish group of publication, he got on board for initiating a Sindhi daily evening daily sham in the year 1999. Zahid Malik is the first person to have written a thesis on the movement for restoration of democracy. MRD in Pakistan, 5 documentaries, 20 TV serials, 30 stage plays and 500 plus features, articles and analysis are his key milestones. He has encouraged countless young writers, has inspired hundreds of thousands of readers and audience throughout the country. What is right? Zahid would write and even fight to publish it, risking his own life and job. There have been many occasions where other journalists and news editors did refrain from reporting or 
releasing through their press the genuine issues for the fear of retaliation. But Zahid is among those who did not. Since 1999, Zahid Malik has been with Sindh's largest daily evening paper, Sham Akhbar, and has been contributing with his untiring spirit, creative and visionary mind, inking the right.